What's up, YouTube? It's Eric, a Lions fan. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today is my weekend ramble where I kind of talk about some things that I think are important or things that are interesting to me, but they may not be interesting to you. So go ahead and go over to the recommended tab and click on a couple of other of my videos. I do beer reviews. I do Detroit Tigers, Detroit Lions, uh, post-game analysis of how it is just to a, a simple fan like myself, a very casual fan. I usually do Michigan, Michigan State football, even though I don't go to the basketball or ice hockey at all. Uh, and I do a couple of weekend rambles, so you might find a couple of other of those, a couple of other of those videos too. So go ahead and click on any of those videos, or click on somebody else's video too. I'm sure we would appreciate the view, and possibly even I'd do a likes and subscribe as well. But as you guys know, we right, right down here in the description, I'm going to talk about Larry Nasser and Michigan State, how <laughs> their relationship has evolved. I guess that's the term would be evolved. Uh, how the, the allegations of child molestation came, and how Michigan State handled that. Uh, I'm also going to talk about Allie Reisman. She has sued the USOC and the USA Gymnastics. I'm going to talk about that. And also I'm going to talk about Tom Izzo and Mark D'Antonio and how they've kind of gotten involved in all of this and how ESPN has tried to dig up dirt on those two. So it's going to be a sports-related weekend ramble. So guys, you better get like a cup of coffee, which I got right here in my hand. And uh, you might want to get your favorite beverage or something because I think it's going to be somewhat of a long video. First off, we're going to get to Allie Reisman and her lawsuit against the USOC and USA Gymnastics. As you guys, if you guys don't know what the USOC stands for, it's the United States Olympic Committee. And I guess based on a couple of things, what I got right here on, um, and I wish I kind of was doing the OBS software so you could actually see what I'm seeing here. Um, I guess Michaela Maroney, I think that's how you pronounce her name, is actually... Uh, gone in on the lawsuit with uh, Allie Reisman. Now, Allie Reisman lives, at least as far as I know, I think she still lives in the Michigan area. I don't know if she lives within the Lansing area. She, I think she was originally from DeWitt, if anyone knows where DeWitt, Michigan is. She was from that area, at least I think she was. I'm just going off of memory based way back on when she was uh, in the, with USA Gymnastics during that time. But yeah, I'm, I got to say, I've got to, um, I got to hand it to her. I mean, this is pretty big. Uh, pretty big stuff for her to challenge in USOC and in USA Gymnastics because those two are pretty highly prestigious, and for Michaela too, the highly prestigious organizations within the last 20 years, really. Um, I mean, I really kind of, I, she's suing them more or less because there was take, no action taken, and she says in the uh, LA Times article, which I'm, I'm gonna, trying to find here, I've seen it yesterday and I should have copy and pasted the link and I just didn't do it. But she goes on to say she's she's not getting the questions that needs answered. Uh, I don't know if, if she's looking at any uh, pain and suffering uh, or kind of what it was. I did, I just kind of glanced over the article real quick. But she says she's not getting the answers that she wants, and they're kind of dragging their feet, um, that kind of stuff. She wants more or less wants some answers from them, and she's not getting them without having to take them to court to get those answers. <coughs> and I don't know if she'll really even get those, but... I guess it's just started. It was yesterday that this news came out. Actually, the one that I read was um, it had came out on Friday night uh, from the LA Times. I'm going to try to find that article and post it down in the description too, which I don't know if I'll be able to find it or not, but I'll, I'll do my best to do that. Um, but yeah, I got to give her props, man. I mean, there's been so much going on with this Larry Nassar situation with Michigan State, and I'll kind of lead in, into that with Michigan State and also with the Izzo, Tom Izzo and D'Antonio. Way back in 97, now this is back, I'm kind of, like I said, relying on memory and going off the television. There's a lot that's been happening with this Larry Nasser case. And to, personally, my own personal opinion is that he should pretty much just be in the electrical chair or poison the man or something. Just, just you know, kill him. That's just, and, and I know that's kind of barbaric and all that, but really, when somebody molests a child, I don't care if it's uh, from an infant all the way up to an adult. You get molested like that. You, you cannot take this stuff. You just can't blow it off anymore. You have to take it seriously. And I don't think Michigan State even took it very seriously. There's been a lot of resignations, a lot of firings up at Michigan State. Just recently, I just read something here that they wanted to recommend the Board of Trustees, all the Board of Trustees to step down. I would think that's a pretty good move for Michigan State. Being a Michigan fan, uh, being a Michigan fan is irrelevant here. I, I will admit that. Other people have a different opinion than I do on that. 
that's outside of the sports realm to me. When you go into a, um, a child molestation or even any kind of molesting case or anything like that, you cannot take that seriously. Or you can't just brush it off and be like, oh, we're kind of sweeping under the rug, make it not a big thing. When somebody came back way back in 1997, the lady that was, um, she said she brought it way back into that point. Um, the officer, actually the officer, the Ingham County officer, kind of just swept it under the rug and didn't really do much. He didn't do a full investigation of it, or at least that's how I understand it. Um, and he, he came back and he apologized to her, actually came up to her face-to-face, -to -face, uh, apologized to her, said he should have done more instead of kind of sweeping it under the rug, which I will commend him on that, uh, being, apologize, being apologetic towards that. But, you know, and all that stuff, the guy going over the... <laughs> I mean, and the guy going over the, the uh, what is it, the, I can't remember, I've never been in a courtroom, so there's like your, the public seating area, and then there's that, where the actual court proceedings go. Well, there was a gentleman there that had just recently came out that he was, uh, his daughter was being molested, and he almost came over and was going to pretty much do bad things to Larry Nassar, let's put it that way. Uh, the guy had the court case and then, and then was done. But I'm kind of jumping off on a whole bunch of other stuff here, guys. I'm, I apologize for that. But ESPN, I'm, I'm bringing up ESPN here, too. They've been digging into this thing pretty good as well. Um, goodness. They've been trying to dig up things to try to make Michigan State look that much worse and to try to say there's a, a culture here where sexual allegations have been happening uh, with the football program, with the basketball program, trying to dig, 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 and especially with the latest thing with Miles Bridges. That's another digging incident, which if you like Michigan State basketball or not, that's irrelevant. But like, just like to the Miles Bridges thing, dig, dig, dig. You know, They brought it to the NCAA within, I think it was what, 24 hours? Done. You know, And over $400 written on somebody's notepad? That's not real evidence there. I... Don't even know why the NCAA really took the time to, to do that. It should have been, look, guy says $400. <laughs> it's a hearsay kind of thing at that point. But ESPN's journalism as of late has been bad, especially with the Tom, everything that's happened with Tom Izzo, Mark D'Antonio. I think they've handled it very well. Even though I'm not the biggest sports fan of Michigan State, um, that's just a personal preference. I'm a Michigan fan. But really, when it comes, like I said, when it comes down to allegations with any player or anything, I know they have to be investigated and all that sort of stuff. And I know the coaches can't be, I know the coaches are being told things, but they just can't bring it out to the public eye because it may look bad on the university or may look bad on them or on the player as well. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'm almost kind of speechless about ESPN's recent, actually within the last 45 days, their, their behavior and their journalism and all that sort of stuff. I, I don't put ESPN as one of the better journalism programs or actually within the whole, that that industry. I, I put them right at, the, right at the, close to the top. But now that all this other stuff has happened with Michigan State, you know, it, it's taking a big hit and their credibility's taking a big hit too, especially with the stuff that's happening out in Arizona too. I mean, I mean, the Arizona fans, I think are pretty upset with ESPN and, Kind of, I think it's more or less kind of the same thing here. Digging up stuff that doesn't need to be dug up. It's already been handled before. Kind of rehashing stuff with that. But I know that the Arizona stuff and the Michigan State stuff is totally different. Uh, but I, I really don't know what else to say on that. ESPN has been digging. Uh, I know there's been there's a, what they're trying to do. ESPN is trying to do is to say, look. All this stuff's been happening with Larry Nasser. Look what's been happening here at Michigan State. There's a culture thing there that needs to be removed, needs to quit being covered up and all that. And I understand it. I get that. But to, to drag Izzo and D'Antonio through the mud when all this stuff's happening, uh, when really all they are really is collateral damage, is a, a, a real disappointment to ESPN. I will I will say that. Um, and just recently I watched on here uh, – the federal government, I guess, is actually investigating Michigan State for Title IX. How all that sort, how all that stuff goes, I don't really know what Title IX is more than it is to give women equality in sports and all that sort of stuff to give them the, the the equal time and stuff like that. That's pretty much on a very very high level what that is. But they're being investigated with that, and it goes just right along with everything else with the Larry Nasser stuff, being the molestation and everything's kind of 
piling on now for on Michigan State. I think I think they've handled it very well. Uh, I don't think you've heard the end of anything with this. Uh, I know Larry Nassar has been charged and um, has 175 years in jail, but all, all the other stuff that's happening with the civil lawsuits, I don't think it's going to end anytime soon. Maybe some other stuff might come out and all that as well. Uh, unfortunately, he can't be tried for that because he's already been tried and uh, sentenced for the crimes that he's already done. But um, I really don't have much else to say. I know I was bouncing all over the place. I know my videos have to get better, guys. But let me know what you guys think of this Larry Nassar situation in the Michigan State, how they kind of collaborated together. Um, not, or I shouldn't say collaborated together, how they've kind of intertwined with, you, with each other. Um, really, in this day and age, when somebody says, I've been molested or I've been sexually abused, you cannot put that under the rug. You must investigate it. I mean, it doesn't ha really have to even come out in the news. You just have to do your due diligence and investigate it. And Come to your findings, and if something comes up, then you bring the authorities in and tell them this is what we found out and stuff like that. You cannot take this, um, you just can't sweep it under the rug anymore, more or less. But yeah, I want to know what you guys think down in the comments, all right? I always try to interact with you guys. You guys may have a differing opinion than me. I think it's kind of bullshit to me when it's all said and done how Michigan State has been, uh, the sports program has been kind of trudged through the mud with all this stuff, so... Uh, but the Larry Nasser stuff and the Ali Reisman and uh, Michaela Mah uh, Maroney, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. I, I'm bad with names. Um, I'm you, got, you guys got a long road ahead, I will admit that. And um, I'm going to stick up for you for this. I'll be one of your supporters. So even though I may be a silent supporter, I'll still be a supporter. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments, would you guys? And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces, guys. Take care.